It's the first official day of summer, but it actually arrived weeks ago. Ahead, the new cooling center is opening up today to help our Kansans escape the extreme heat. Today's the first official day of summer, and it sure is going to feel like it. The next several days, upper 90s, low triple digits, but confidence is increasing that we're actually going to get a cold front heading our direction. We'll take a look at the latest forecast coming up. Plus, the new Miss Arkansas is here. We'll talk to her about her magical winning moment and plans for the Miss America pageant. Now, Wake Up Central with Karen Fuller, Hayden Balgavy, and meteorologist Scott Covert. Welcome back to Wake Up Central 630. We're glad you're with us. Hayden is off today, back tomorrow, and meteorologist Scott Covert is here with us as well. We have so much mm -hmm. coming up in this half hour. The new Miss Arkansas joining us here at 645. But first, someone who, um, you know, as attractive, I'm sure, meteorologist <laughs> Tom Brandon, live mm -hmm. in Hot Springs for the summer cereal drive. Good morning, Tom. Yeah. How's the weather out there? Good morning. I tell you what, it doesn't feel bad yet. Okay. We're here in Hot Springs, Scott. Beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas. Albert Pike Walmart location. There are two Walmarts, and I think they have a neighborhood market around here. We're at the one, uh, well, I like to call more Old Hot Springs. Albert Pike Walmart location until 1230 today. And uh, all we're asking you to do is come out and pick up a box of cereal and drop it off. Uh, fine folks here this morning. We've got Highland Dairy. They're providing refreshments. Bring the kids out for donuts and whatever else we have to provide, plus some uh, food bank uh, memorabilia here. We've got some great little bags here. Uh, and, and also, also, we've got the fine food bank staff with us today. Working hard, staying cool, but boy, we are expecting it to get a little bit hot. Equal time. This group over here that's unhappy with the results of the game last night, they still haven't gotten over it. Not real yeah. happy. With it. <laughs> We're here to collect cereal today. We're going to talk about food insecurity in Hot Springs. And also, we had a donation yesterday in Bryant we're going to tell you about. That's coming up around 645 this morning. But as always, it's great to see Karen Fuller and Scott Covert getting you a wink this morning to come to Hot Springs and see us and bring a box of cereal, folks. Back to you. Thank you so much, Tom. We'll, of course, be checking back in with you throughout the next half hour. Until then, Karen, uh, you know, the last couple of days wasn't terrible. No. Actually, no, but it's about relatively to get, speaking, relatively <laughs> speaking, right? It's about to get really hot and which is right on cue. It's the first day of summer, so we would expect it. Happy summer meteorologist. Yes, happy summer indeed. 72 right now in Little Rock where Tom's at this morning. It's 70, not bad at all. Down to 63 in Clinton this morning, 69 currently in Searcy. We all warm into the upper 90s today. 98 is the actual high temperature. We're going to see lots of sunshine today and really over the next several days as this hot and dry weather pattern, the heat wave continues its grip on Arkansas. However, I'm happy to tell you there's been some changes to the extended forecast. It looks like we may be tracking a cold front heading our direction that could bring some cooler weather and a little bit of rain. We'll take a look at the latest forecast and the timing of that front in just a few moments. And it's because of the extreme heat that a new cooling center is opening up today in Pulaski County. The North Little Rock Community Center will be open from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. It's located at 2700 Willow Street off Pershing. That's near North Little Rock High School. And the folks there tell us they plan to keep it open every day through Sunday at those same hours. And unlike some other cooling centers, keep in mind your pets are allowed to be brought to this cooling center there in North Little Rock. The city of Little Rock is reopening its cooling center today, opening from noon until 6 at the East Little Rock Community Center at 2500 East 6th Street near the Clinton National Airport. The city tells us they plan to keep it open through this Friday. Paramedics are on high alert for any heat related emergency calls today. People over the age of 65, children under four, and people with disabilities or existing medical conditions are more prone to heat exhaustion or heat stroke, but it can affect any of us. The symptoms are nausea, dizziness, lightheadedness, fatigue, and muscle cramping. Earlier this month, MEMS paramedics told us it's critical to take action as soon as you feel yourself overheating. Hopefully a lot of people realize uh, heat exhaustion prior to it becoming a crisis and turning into a heat stroke. 
MEMS ALREADY HAS RESPONDED TO MORE THAN 30 HEAT-RELATED EMERGENCIES JUST THIS MONTH. WE HAVE SOME TIPS FOR YOU IF YOU'D LIKE TO CHECK THEM OUT ON BEATING THE HEAT ON THV11.COM. The ballot for November elections will be settled today. Voters heading to the polls for the runoffs. These are the races from last month where no candidate reached more than 50% of the vote. The polling places will open soon in about an hour from 7.30 a.m. until 7.30 p.m. But it's important to note that not all counties have runoffs, so you may not in your county. There are no statewide or congressional races, so instead the action will be focused on several Republican primaries for the state legislature. Voter turnout is expected to be low. In fact, Pulaski County has only recorded 210 early votes in the week leading up to this runoff. The Arkansas School Safety Commission is meeting again today at the state capitol. You recall last week they met for the first time in four years. This group was made up of about 20 police officers, educators, health professionals, mental health experts, and lawmakers. Since its final report back in 2018, more than 60% of the recommendations have been adopted in Arkansas schools. So they're now working to update the guidance with a new report that is due by August 1st. Governor Hutchinson reinstated the commission following the Uvalde school shooting in Texas. And meantime, a new report is shedding some new light on that Texas school massacre and the delayed police response. It's showing several armed officers waited in the hallway for nearly an hour while that gunman killed 19 students and two teachers inside a classroom. Naomi Ruckham shows us how parents in the community are reacting. New reporting from the Austin American Statesman shows armed officers waited in a hallway at Robb Elementary School, at least one with a ballistic protective shield. According to those reports, officers stood by for nearly an hour before stopping the gunman who killed 19 students and two teachers nearly a month ago. Parents in that community are now calling for the ousting of Police Chief Pete Arredondo. He, he may not have pulled the trigger, but there's definitely blood on his hands. He did not hit his decision making is completely negligent. Surveillance video obtained by the paper also indicates officers were at the school within 19 minutes of the gunman, earlier than previously known. Lord, we pray for our children. At an emotional school board meeting last night, relatives of those killed criticized the police response and what they call lax security measures. My mom died protecting her students, but who was protecting my mom? This will always haunt me and should always haunt all of you. How are we supposed to continue our lives here knowing that those people that are supposed to protect us let down our family? A committee in the Texas State House is currently investigating the police response to the shooting, and state senators are calling for a special session on gun safety. Among other proposals, Democrats want to raise the legal age for owning an assault weapon from 18 to 21. These tragedies will continue to happen until we pass some basic, basic common sense gun safety measures. This comes as national gun reform legislation appears to be stalled in the Senate. Lawmakers had hoped to reach a deal before going on a two week recess for the 4th of July. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News. Back here at home, let's turn it over to meteorologist Scott Covert and find out the one thing we need to know about the weather today. Karen, it's going to be even hotter today. You're looking at highs around the state at 98 in Little Rock, 99 likely in Camden. Lots of sunshine in today's forecast. It gets hotter later this week, but a cold front is taking shape. I'll let you know when it arrives coming up. And coming up, the new Miss Arkansas joins us live here in our studio. We'll be talking to her about her amazing night. You'll get to meet Ebony right after this break. But first, let's check in with THV 11's Tom Brannon. He's live in Benton for the THV Serial Drive. Hope you do well today, Tom. All right, Karen, thank you so much. Albert Pike Walmart here in Hot Springs, our location today. We're here till 1230. Coming back after the break, we're going to take a little recap of what we did yesterday in Saline County. Stay tuned.